so it's, it's a very short talk so it's quite a small room <laughs> this is an outside uh, cabin um, we were pleasantly surprised I must admit it's, uh, it's not huge but windows are lovely it's lovely to have the natural light so queen side bed very comfortable um, hasn't got uh, USBs by the side of the bed so that's something to consider that um, so you need to bring adapters um, but yeah nice cabin a uh, nice cabin uh, we've got a little dressing area here with mirror it's a plug point there there is plenty of storage there's three three wardrobes sort of a double and a single wardrobe um, small telly up here with all your films and whatever you want here's my wife sitting on a little sofa down here <laughs> um, again a little table there and uh, it's yeah it, it's not huge but it's been really comfortable and it's nice to have the, the natural light coming in um, tea and coffee making facilities there um, P&O you get that you get the kettle and, uh, and what have you so that's nice and we can make a cup of coffee in the morning a uh, full length mirror here which is obviously very handy and then to show you the, the bathroom uh, there is a mini bath actually you could so if you if you want to have a bath you could have a little bath with shower over there's um white company shower gel and shampoo and conditioner um, this is quite good because these mirrors um, open up with stories behind same for this side so yeah there's plenty of storage in here is that all in all this is room D162 a standard outside cabin and uh, we yeah we've been very happy with it we actually booked late we would have probably gone for a balcony but uh, having said all that we would probably have one of these again it's nice no problem at all nice room enjoyed it What is it? Salted caramel and vanilla espresso martini. There's a lot going on in that glass. But I think we need it to keep us awake tonight. And we're currently in the crow's nest bath. If you look, you can see why it's named the crow's nest bath. We're right up the top of the ship. And uh, panoramic windows. Really nice, actually. Some geezer playing the old Joanna in the background. Very chilled. Crow's nest at half past three in the afternoon. Very quiet, but the weather's decent, so there's oh, people outside. So. Black tie night tonight, so they want to be dressed up in their best bib and tucker. But the only time we have a dress up anymore is on black tie night on a cruise. But yeah, it's good. <coughs> nice bar this. That was one of the highlights of this ship, I think, is the, the bars. Anderson's we like. And we like this bar as well. <laughs> Night cap time in the crow's nest. Nice bar, this. Crow's Nest Bar. Right up the top.
top of the ship. Panoramic views all around. It is lovely. Not actually been up here for a sunset. I don't know why. <laughs> Just haven't thought about it. <laughs> we'll have to do that if we come on again. So there's no one here, obviously, because it's not nothing going on at the moment. This is Carmen's on deck seven. Nice little venue, plenty of seating. As I say, totally empty at the moment. But there's a few things going on here this evening, I think. This is Raffles Coffee Bar. I'm for an after lunch cup of coffee and a slice of cake. Costa coffee here. Very nice. There we are, Deco this at the back end of Aurora. Sorry, the art. I'm trying to learn the terms. It is wicked. Still in Southampton. Got on about 12.30. Sun is shining. Had a couple of beers. Life is sweet. So these dockyards are one pig ugly things. But there you go. We're on our way to Hamburg soon. So here we are, right at the aft of the ship. We're on deck 12. I love this, this, uh, this bit with the terraces at the, at the back of the ship. It's beautiful. Very sort of art deco. It's uh, when just gone 8 o'clock ship time, just gone 7 o'clock UK time. Uh, so we're having a, a little drinky poos at this terrace bar here before going in to dinner at a restaurant called the Beach House. They do the steak on the stone, I might not have that, I don't know yet. There's some nice stuff on there, so. But yeah, nice, nice area this. I would imagine if uh, if the sun was beaten down and you was out in the tropics or uh, in the Canaries, this would be lovely to sit out here of an evening. It's a bit, little bit fresh at the moment, but but there you go. So just look. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five. In fact, there's another layer up there. So there's six, six different terraces you can sit and have a drink and watch the world go by. As I say, there's another one up there as well. So. So oh, yes, it's good. I like the design of this this rear end, the aft. And there's obviously a couple of hot tubs there and a pool. Nice. to the crow's nest bar. Some nice comfy seats. Loads of books to, to borrow. Quite oldie worldy really this. Quite retro. So this is one of our favourite bars, Anderson's, reminiscent of a sort of a, a club. It's really nice. I like this bar a lot. Not currently open, but other bars are, obviously. What time is it? 
it's midday, you know. Just walk you around here. But yeah, we've um, had a drink in this bar every evening. I think it is really nice. It's all very, very relaxed and chilled. Okay, go back out the way we come in. So yeah, there's a lot, a lot going on on deck eight. He knows what he knows. Mm. Yeah, I meant deck seven. <laughs> right? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. So now we're coming to the atrium where we have some shops. Which are obviously not allowed to be open because we're in port. Which are not allowed to be open because we're in port. But it went. <laughs> She's already got a handbag, but there's always room for another handbag, I guess. It's a typical designer wear, red leaf, Pandora, Swarovski, however you say it. People we'll never say that. They might have my earrings. They might. They might indeed. Sunglasses oh, and, and those rotating glow things, which I'm in love with. I bet they are crazy money. Oh, look at the little red bag. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like that. 15% off So this is the, the beautiful atrium. As you can see, this water feature spans a number of floors. Four floors, isn't it? Three. Four floors, yeah. Yeah, it's scarce. Looking down the atrium. So around here. Yeah, we do. There's always, and that's sort of the back entrance there to Anderson's that we've just been in. Looking in. So this is another sort of area where entertainment goes on and what have you. This is Masquerade. We do talks and a bit of entertainment of an evening, all sorts going. Another nice bar. I think the thing about the ship is there's lots of these sort of separate little areas with things going on and always a bar somewhere. So yeah, nice. So carrying on. It's very art deco, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's lovely, I love it. So if you look down here, that's these stairs are closed off for some reason, I'm not sure why. This is Medina's, which is the sort of the freedom dining, main dining restaurant. There is another main dining restaurant which whose name escapes me, but that's for these the two sitting set set dinners, set tables kind of eating. Wandering past the little art gallery. Bit the northern lights there, look. We get these on video, I love them. <laughs> the hedgehogs. They're lovely. Oh, and that. I love it. I love the strawberry one. <laughs> Chester. Chest, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the dog. It's lovely, isn't it? So, past the art gallery, we're now wandering into uh, a bar called Champions which is like a sports bar and right next to that is the, the casino it's quite a small casino but a casino all the same just because it's small doesn't mean you can't lose a lot of money in there <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I was to say this is Champions, the sports bar. At twelve thirty, yeah, the uh, yeah, the women's football is okay. So, yeah, as I say, small but perfectly formed casino. In Champions Bar, which is, as you can see, is open. So this is the cinema. As you can see, there's a number of showings of the movie today. I'll just take you in quickly. That's a beautiful, it is actually a beautiful little cinema. But absolutely no one in here at the moment. <laughs> but it is, um, well, we are docked in Hamburg, so there will be people, I guess. Well, it's the people be off ship at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> 